Well, you know, I got a headache uh, about six months ago for two days. It was the worst headache in my life. I mean, it was really bad. My wife is a x-ray tech at West Hills and um, for 39 years. So she really knew the doctors and, and they, they couldn't get rid of it. They did the CT and the MRI and then the angiogram and they found the um, aneurysm, an eight millimeter basal two-tip aneurysm. And uh, the headache went away, but we started to, based on the doctor's recommendation, to research this and uh, get this thing taken care of. Uh, we, we went around, we checked out, you know, a number of other facilities, and um, it, then we met USC. Endovascular neurosurgery is a method of repairing blood vessels of the brain entirely within the, the vascular system through catheters that we introduce into the artery in the leg and steer into the brain under x-ray guidance. The facility was fantastic. I gotta emphasize how good Kelly and all the doctors were in responding, meeting with me, and uh, just gave me a sense of confidence. They just uh, were great. I mean, they were great. I mean, if I can't feel comfortable with somebody, especially when they're digging in my brain, uh, I wouldn't have done it. So they went in and they, they did the aneurysm and they coiled, it was like kind of like a little and then a big one. And then it, all one aneurysm, wide mouth basal. With coil embolization, we place metal coils, they're actually made out of platinum, into this bulging area of the artery. And the way we do it is we first place a long flexible tube called a catheter into an artery in the leg. And all the arteries in the body are connected, so once we're inside that one, we can steer the catheter through the rest of the body and up through the neck and into the brain blood vessels. Um, with the catheter directed into the aneurysm itself, we place a series of metal coils that stay there uh, until we actually remove the catheter and then the coils remain in place. My wife went up to the doctors after the surgery and they said everything was good, there was no punctures or anything. And my wife said, thank you for letting me keep my husband. And that's really why I did it, because my beloved wife. And, um, you know, God works in mysterious ways. And if not for this technology, you know, I, I would have been a time bomb. I'm just very grateful. I mean, I thank the Lord. I thank my family, my kids, my fans. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. And uh, it, it's, it's a wonderful thing when you can really trust your physician because this was life-threatening. I had a 15% chance of dying or something and uh, you know it was either now or later and I'm, I'm very glad I did it. I'm very glad that I know these doctors. They should all go to heaven uh, but uh, you know it, it's a wonderful thing. I mean it really is and I'm, I'm grateful. I'm not a mushy guy but I'm grateful.